The 19th graduation ceremony of Chamgo University is set to be a three-day affair, beginning on the 6th to the 8th of this week. And in this graduation booklet, which has already been released by the university, 10,926 students of whom 6,118 are male and 4,808 are female are set to receive various academic awards. On the first day of the 6th, we have the Faculty of Special Needs and Rehabilitation together with the School of Management and Entrepreneurship. On the 7th of December, which is the second day, we shall graduate the Faculty of Agriculture, the School of Vocational Studies, the School of Art and Industrial Design, the Faculty of Social Sciences, and the Faculty of Arts and Humanities. And on the third day, the 8th of December, which will be a Friday, we have the School of Beauty Environment, the School of Computing and Information Sciences, the School of Education, the Faculty of Engineering, and the Faculty of Science. However, of concern to the university administration are attempts by students who fail to qualify for this graduation ceremony, manipulating the graduation list. Some of the students are doing this through forging the graduation booklet. They take them and reprint them. Some of them put their names there when they are not there in our booklet. It's very embarrassing. Some parents have approached us after graduation and they ask how come my, my son or my daughter's name was not read. While others are conniving with university staff to be added to the graduation list here, four students have already been identified and removed from the list. These are students who have been trying to change their marks through some unscrupulous people in ICT. We have arrested two of them, two of the ICT staff, trying to change the marks of students. And these students approach them with some money. Professor Katungoka says the university is trying very hard to stop this fraudulent behavior. Unfortunately, it's a difficult advice to come because of our unscrupulous, corrupt people. But if we get anybody involved in that practice, will take stern measures. Ahead of the three days of graduation, police has also provided guidance on the traffic flow and security measures. The graduates will use Chambogo Road and will park at the West End football pitch and the cricket oval grounds. They will also use the East African Road, Ntinda Chiwatule Road, and enter through the Northern Gate. The Eastern Gate, that is the Banda Gate, will not be used by the graduates. It is going to be reserved for VVIPs. That's according to the university arrangement. Joyce Nakato, NTV Tonight.